Hello, Tanya. Hello, Lisette. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you, girls? Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. I'm good. Thank you. Very good. ¿Cómo se sienten ya para el siguiente módulo? ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo van los procesos? I have finished to send my um, documents. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. So I, but they haven't answered me yet. Excellent. Okay. Es esperar. Pero lo importante es que ha enviado la documentación. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, there you go, Israel. Then we're going to start. Okay, guys. So today we're going to do something different. But first, may I know if you have any questions about all the topics that you have been uh, learning, de todo lo que han estado aprendiendo. Vamos a hacer algo diferente, solo quiero saber. No? Okay. I'll take that as a no. Voy a tomar eso como no. Okay. Now, what are we going to do this uh, today is to do a kind of review about the tenses respecto a los tiempos. If you don't have any questions about the topics that we have been learning, si no tiene ninguna pregunta respecto a los temas que hemos estado viendo, nadie por el momento? Okay, perfect. So I have something different for you. I'm just going to share my screen. Solo vemos cinco participantes. Well, it's going to start then. Let me see. Okay. So let's just to pay attention. Espero que no pase más. Okay, yes. So um, we're just going to pay attention to this slide. Vamos a prestar atención. Muy bien, por favor. It is the basic six tenses. Okay, six tiempos claves to any conversation, para cualquier conversación. We have here the simples, the one that is simple present, simple past, simple future. I'm sorry, I'm just going to stop from front sharing. Voy a parar de compartir algo. Para no darles respuestas de esto. Ok. I'm sorry, guys. Just one moment. Ok. Ok. One moment. Que lo que pasa es que estaba con la misma clase. And the last one. I do apologize. Okay, perfect. Now I'll share the screen once again. There you go. Okay, once again, please. The simples, we have simple present, simple past, and simple future. And then we have the progressive or continuous, look, it's continuous, but, okay, that is present progressive or past progressive. And then we have the present perfect. Okay, let's go to start and to explain each for each, one, uno por uno. Now, when do we use or how do we use the simple present? Okay, we use the simple present for habits, for customs, or for something they usually do, okay? For example, I brush my teeth every day. I take a shower every day. I teach classes, okay, it's just an example. I teach classes once 
per week, or once a week, mejor dicho, once a week, una vez a la semana. Okay. I visit my nephews once a week. Eso está más de acuerdo, sí. I visit my nephews once a week. Voy a ver a mis sobrinitos una vez a la semana. Okay. So basically, that's an habit or that's something that you do. I'm not saying that I'm doing that action in this moment. No estoy diciendo que la estoy haciendo en este momento. I'm just talking about habits or something that you do, right? Now, oh, what do we use here? The auxiliars that we use. We use do as an auxiliary and we use does and also, y además de ello, we use the S form, okay? Recuerden hacer el verb with the S form. Como el verbo puede ser S form if it's third person. Now, remember, habits or something that you do. Algo que ustedes hacen con frecuencia or something like that. It is not exactly that you are doing by this moment. No necesariamente que están haciendo en este momento. Once again, repito para los que ingresaron. For example, I visit my nephews once a week. I teach to my students five, um, six days a week. Okay. I eat... Uh, I don't know. I don't eat uh, fish. No como pescado. Okay, etc. etc. Now, based on that, basado en esto. For example, we have Carlita. Voy a borrar todo esto. Okay, perfect. I was just going to give some, going to do some examples. Okay, there you go. Now, for example, Carlita drinks Coke. Okay, Carlita drinks Coke. It's just an example, come on guys. Every day. Okay. Carlita drinks Coke with Tania drinks Coke, I'm sorry, drinks Coke with Tania every day. And that will be every year. Se puede usar every day. Sí, se pueden utilizar los dos. Okay, Carlita drinks Coke. ¿Por qué utilice la S? Carlita drinks. Third person. Third person. Now. Remember that we use auxiliary do and does. Why do we use auxiliary in do and does? It could be for questions, it could be for answer, or better say for question and for negative answers. Para respuestas negativas. So any question, or better say most of the questions, la mayoría de preguntas, we use with an auxiliary or we start with an auxiliary. So how do you guys We'll do a question about this. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. One moment. Okay, Carlita, drink. Entonces, yo le di la respuesta, van a disculpar. Carlita, drinks. Sí. How do we do the question? Does Carlita drink coffee with Tanya every day? Does Carlita drink Coke with Tanya every day? Because it was a question. Does, este fue nuestro sujeto. Does quién? Does Tanya? No. Nuestro sujeto particular. Y quién era el objetivo, was Carlita. Tania fue un complemento. Complemento significa el resto de la oración. Quién fue nuestro objetivo principal, it was Carlita. So that's why we focus on Carlita and we say, does Carlita drink Coke with Tania every day? What about, uh, 
And in the negative form, how would be in the negative form? Carlita doesn't or does not. Okay. 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 Not drink. Carlita does not drink Coke with Tanya every day. Preguntas hasta el momento. Yes or no? No. Carlita. No. Okay. Not And sure. Tanya. Okay. Okay. How will be the answer here? Carlita and Tania blank coke every day. Drink. Just drink. Does drink, dicen ahí. What else? Drink. Drink. ¿Y por qué no drinks? Si sí, ambas son terceras personas. No. Because it's day. Because it's they. Carlita, one. Tania, two. They. Okay. Excellent. No estoy diciendo with. With sería con. But in this case, Carlita and Tania are doing the action. So, okay. Carlita and Tania drink, no matter less. So, how would be the question here? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta? Do Carlita and Tanya drink coke every day? I'm sorry? Do Carlita and Tanya drink coke every day? Alguno de ustedes por aparte me puede responder por qué sería el do. Alguien que me responda del resto por qué sería el do y por qué no does. Is plural the person. It's plural, excellent, because it's plural. Ya son muchos participantes. Okay. Bueno, no, no ha venido el señor. Okay, perfect. Do Carlita and Tania. Yes, perfect, because we're talking about both. Now, that's why it is we use do and does, okay? Nuevamente, brush my teeth, an action that we usually do. Action, we're talking about hábitos, costumbres, etc. Okay, now questions about the simple present. Anyone? No. Those? Yes. Sure? Sure. Yes? Okay, voy a confiar en ustedes. Okay, now we use the simple past for an action that it's done, it already. For example, I ate tacos yesterday, I didn't eat fish. Ayer, yesterday, the action is done, okay? I'm just telling that I didn't. I ate tacos yesterday. So an action that is done and the auxiliary is did, okay? Focus and pay attention. The auxiliary is did. What it means that, que con esto vamos a expresar tanto preguntas como respuestas. So, Continues with Carlita. Okay, one moment, please. How would be in the simple past? Ah, stop, 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 stop. And the verb comes in the past, in the simple past. Okay, bird comes in the simple past, but solamente formulado in the past. That means ate, drunk, sang, played. Uh, I don't know. Yes, it will be sang, ate, whatever, talked, worked. 
ok, bought, gave, etc. Recuerden que está give, gave, given, uh, buy, bought, bought, etc. Now the simple answer in the, uy, 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 I'm sorry. Ok, eso se me fue de acá. Gosh. Ok. Just one moment, please, guys. Aquí Verb in the simple past. ¿verdad? Ok. Este sería nuestro auxiliar did and verb in the simple past. Now, how would be, yes, this question, or better say, this in the simple past. ¿Cómo sería el simple past? Carlita drunk. 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 Cook with Tanya, Tanya every day. Okay. No, vamos a quitar el every day. Vamos a cambiar el ejemplo. Solo yes, vamos a poner. Okay. Ajá, gracias. Okay. Gracias. Okay. Carlita worked with Tanya yesterday. Okay. That it was for the simple past. ¿De dónde sacamos el drunk? Because we use the verb in the simple past. How do we do then the question? ¿Cómo hiciéramos la pregunta? If we use did, let me see Jacqueline. How will be the question? Aquí le vamos a ayudar, no se preocupe. The auxiliar. Okay. <laughs> Um, the auxiliar that we have for the simple past is did nuestras claves y que tenemos que usar el verb in the simple past. Okay. Now, how will okay. we do it? Did the Jew um, wrote a book last month? That's okay, now, thank you. Now, Jackie, we're just going to focus on this example. Vamos a enfocarnos en este ejemplo, okay? Okay. Yo escribo lo que ustedes me dicen. Si ustedes me dicen chaca chaca, yo se los escribo. Okay. <laughs> okay, continue. So, how will be with this example? A the question, yes. Carlita, mm -hmm. no, um, no, 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 uh, yes, uh, ah, okay. Question. Carlita. It's a question, yes. Uh, okay. Did, did Carlita, um, drunk, I don't remember the Dígalo, password. Tran tranquilo, continue. Drunk. Mm -hmm. Uh, cook with Tanya yesterday. Uh, sorry, sorry. Did Carlita drank? Mm -hmm. It's a um, base form. Okay, perfect. Now, nuestro no. base form, it is drink. Este fue nuestro base form. Okay. Drink, drink is a base form. Drunk is the verb in the past. Okay, okay. error mío. Ok, depende de la situación, creo que eso se lo he explicado. Depende, mejor dicho, el did, once that is did, una vez que está el did, we cannot repeat twice, no se puede. Because this auxiliar, it's already telling you, look at me, I am in the past, look at me, miren, ya estamos en pasado. Perdón que se lo explique así, su maestra de parvulares. Ok, so, did nos está diciendo, mírame, ya estoy en pasado. And in this case, for did, we are not going to repeat twice the verb drink. It will be, vale la redundancia. Sí, ahí sería. Did Carlita drink? No podemos ser drunk. Y Cherry, ¿por qué drunk? No. Porque este auxiliar automáticamente nos está diciendo que ya está en pasado. Porque la auxiliar no está en podemos, pasado. Sí, no podemos redundar 
en decir dos veces el did que está en pasado y continuar con el drunk. El did y el drunk son dos veces en pasado. Por lo tanto, no se puede. Este did ya nos dio la pauta para que el resto va a ser en pasado. Claro, nuevamente recapitulando, pero eso implica que el resto va a ser en pasado, pero me refiero de que ya está automáticamente dicho con el did. Entonces, no tendríamos que poner el drunk. No se puede repetir. ¿Ok? No sé si me va a entender. Ok. Yes, I know. It sounds weird, I know. Pero este did ya no está la pauta para saber que todo está en pasado. Ya está el did, nos dijo todo. So we can repeat twice. Okay. So, did Carlita drink coke with Tanya yesterday? Esto fue una pregunta. That was or auxiliary. Now, how will be in the negative? ¿Cómo sería en negativo? ¿Quién es nuestro sujeto, Jacqueline? Carlita. How will do it in the negative form? Carlita didn't. No voy a decir drinking. Carlita didn't. Drink what? Drink coke. Seguro que no es drunk. No. Drink. ¿Por qué drink? Porque está el drink que es en pasado. There no you go. Excellent. There you go. Carlita drink. Drink. Okay, perfect. Now, there you go. Question? No importa eh, si está negativo, eh, independientemente positivo o negativo, eh, siempre cuando lleve el did, el verbo se va a mantener en su, en su forma de Facebook. Okay. Excellent, very good, excellent. No podemos decir, eh, eh, for example, Give an example. Ah, come on. Yes. Did drunk? No. Didn't drunk? No. Always in the base form. Yes. Now, questions? No. Sure? No question. Okay, perfect. Now we have the simple future, guys, that you already know that is with going to, right? Verb be and going to and verb in the base form now when do we use it for future actions acciones futuras okay i am going to she is going to we are de donde saqué el is ¿De dónde saqué el am y dónde saqué el are? Del verb to be. ¿Y en qué momento voy a decir is, are, and am? Depends of the subject, right? Ok. Ok. Let me see. Al tal por la vida, niña. Okay, now it is okay. So in this case, Carlita, how will be this for the simple future? To drink. Carlita going, going to, to drink. Yes. Going to drink. Coke with Tanya. Like this? With Tanya. With Tanya. Okay, going to drink. Alguien más, está bien? No. Why? He's going to drink. Carlita is, is going. going. Nuestra con, conexión, por favor. Is going to. What about if I say? Are. Carlita and Tania are going are to. Going. ¿De dónde le sacan el are? Is, uh, they, they are. They are going to. Ok, para los que se han quedado algo perdidos, 
por qué aquí fue is y por qué cambio a are si estamos utilizando nuevamente los dos mismos sujetos. Is porque está en plural. Yes. Excellent. Carla and Tania is plural. Because it's Carla and Tania. Más allá recapitulando, si alguien que se ha quedado, aquí otra vez dicen, algunos por empezar, pero teacher también aquí es plural. No. We focus, nos enfocamos, we focus on Carlita at the beginning. Carlita is going to drink coke with Tania. Carlita was our objective. With fue el por qué. Pero quien era nuestro objetivo was Carlita. Now, here it says Carlita and Tania. Both. They are going to drink Coke. Excellent. Very good. Questions? No. So what is like a question? Teacher. En, cambiando el nombre por un auxiliar en el caso aquí del ejemplo Carlita eh, por she siempre es que va el, el is going to ¿verdad? correcto, así como aquí cambiamos el Carlita en Tania with Ajá, they, correcto Carlita she is going to porque por sí ella es she excellent ok, thank you no problem no more questions? And how about Will? Vamos, tranquilas, tranquilas. Ahí solamente quería detenerme en eso. Now, she's okay. asking about the Will. Esto tal vez no lo vimos con ustedes porque hemos visto otros temas. Okay. Will. Will not. Or won't. Okay. Will. Is for a future. Okay, siempre es para un future. Okay, I'm going to study at the university. I will study at the university. Both are correct. I'm going to, it I mean, will, but will is something that is yes already. Que es algo certero. I will do it. Come on. Uh, have you ever heard, for example, in the TVs? Or something, you will. Okay, el you will, lo harás. It's a fact. No tenés vuelta atrás. You will. Yes, we will. Okay, so something that is a future. Okay, that is will. Algo que va a ser exactamente. It's not the same to say, I'm going to buy a present for my nephew. Voy a comprar. That it says, I will buy. Compraré. Yes, un hecho. Okay, both are correct, but this is more than. It was yes. Okay. Now. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. Eh, cuando usamos will, también el verbo va en su base normal. Mm -hmm. Going to drink. I will go. Yes, I will drink. Siempre for my base. Yes. Okay, thank you. Y, and the will not is for negative, but in contraction, así como dicen, do not, has not, is not, aquí cambia, is not, want. Uh -huh, it contraction, won't, the contraction. No, I said, willn't, mm -mm. is won't, okay. Questions? Okay. Well, no, teacher, I, ha I have a question and the, they are going to, um, the sentence is question, is correct, are they going to? Excellent, thank you. Se me pasó por algo. Gracias, thank you. Are they going to? Yes. Yes, it's correct. Are they going to? Yes. What about here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, what about here? ¿Cómo será eso aquí? The question. Is Carlita going to drink coffee with, exactly. with Tania? Exactly. Yeah, excellent. Ahora estoy estudiando de Carlita. ¿Qué sujeto es? Sí, sí. Uh, she. Is she going to drink? Both are correct. Excellent. Questions? 
¿Cuándo es que vamos a usar will? Ah, for the future. As we use um, the going to, also will. For the future, cuando es algo certero. Ok. For example, ambas están correctas. I'm going to get married tomorrow. Ok. O I will get married tomorrow. Or even, for example, uh, let me see. I'm going to buy a present for my nephews. Voy a comprar un regalo para mis sobrinitos. Ok. And I will buy. Compraré. Both are talking about future. Pero uno es más un hecho. ¿Quién es más el hecho? El will. Ok. Ambos están correctos. I will buy a present. I'm going to buy a present. But in this, ya no hay cabida. That is something that you are going to do. Es una tal cual que lo vas a hacer. Thanks, teacher. Okay, now we're going to continue with the present progressive and the past progressive. Now, the present progressive, okay, it is talking about for an action that is at this moment, right now, pero no siempre es right now or in this moment. For example, es un tiempo recurrente en el presente, okay? I could say, my students are learning. En este momento, my students are learning. But also, I could say, my sister is working at Procuraduría. My sister right now, she is sleeping. Estoy segura que está durmiendo. But if someone asks me, where is your sister working? Si Isabel me pregunta, ¿y tu hermana dónde está trabajando? Okay, well, actually, she's working at Procuraduría. Oh, that's right. ¿La ¿Dónde está trabajando? Pues? Because it's in this lapsus. Okay. Then he can continue. Luego puede continuar. And where did she work before? Where did? ¿Quién fue el did? ¿Qué está hablando ahí? ¿Qué tiempo? Pasado. 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 So I'm going to answer. ¿En qué tiempo voy a responder? She was working. No, él preguntó algo preciso. Did. Oh, she worked at Banco de Fomento Agropecuario. Okay, so because one is the present and another is in the past. I'm sorry, one is in the present. Yes, in the present, continuous. Y me pregunto parte del pasado. Now, what's the difference? Tiene que ser una acción en este momento, right now? Not exactly. In some way, not exactly. Puede ser en este momento that I'm looking for the action or can be this moment, this year, that it's happening this year, recurrente. Okay. Questions? No? Now, what do we use here? We use the verb be. We also use the verb ing. Okay, this is the key. Verb be and the verb in the ing. What it means this? Carlita, uh -huh. how will be them? Carlita is drinking, drinking Coke with Tanya. Is, excellent, is drinking Coke with. Excellent, there you go. Now, how will be for the question? Is Carlita excellent? Is Carlita drinking? There you go. Questions? Preguntas este momento. Now, what about if I say this one? Okay. What about this one? How will you guys do it? Como serán esta? In the present progressive. Carlita and Tania. Carlita and. Mm -hmm. Are. Yes. Are, are they drinking? Carlita and. Are, ah. are they drinking? Mm, ya lo explico algo. Are drinking. Are drinking. 
cold. Alguien mencionó por ahí, are they drinking? In this case, are they drinking? Sería para una pregunta. Are they drinking? Yeah, for a question. Yes. Aquí la estamos haciendo para oración. Carlita and Tania are drinking. And for question is, are they drinking Coke? Excellent. Very good. Questions? No. Okay. In the past progressive, we use was and were. Were. And the verb ing. Okay, when do we use was? Para qué momento ocupamos was? Past. Past. Yes, and with which subject? Y para qué subject? Singular. Is, is it? I, yes. Singular. Okay, now for example, no, okay, there you go. Okay, I'm gonna. How will be this sentence in the past progressive, Carlita and Tanya? Carlita and Tania were. ¿Por qué el were y por qué no el was? Because they are. Is they. Because it's one, two, plural. Yes. Como dice ella, is they. But what about if I say just Carlita? Se solió Carlita. Carlita was. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Carlita and Tanya were drinking. Porque es el ING. Okay. Were, and because they are two. And if it's just Carlita, it would be was. Carlita was. Si solo fuera Carlita. Carlita was drinking Coke with Tanya. Okay. Questions? What is the drinking coke? Okay. No questions. Okay. In the, no. For the question? Yes. No, no, no. Do you have any questions, guys? <laughs> okay. Ah, for the question. Okay. Uh -huh, okay. <laughs> Was Carlita. Was Carlita drinking? Porque toda pregunta comienza con su auxiliar. Carlita has to drink a coke. Because and for here it is where they yes. drinking. For kill where because it's or auxiliary. Este fue nuestro auxiliar. Were they drinking? No questions? No okay. questions. No teacher. Sure? Seguros? Okay, va a comprar ustedes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, then we have the present perfect that we use in this case, uh, having has or has and the verb participle. Okay, bring the participle. Remember the was sing san soon, it ate eaten. Um, drink, drunk, drunk. Okay, now. Okay. Based on this, Carlita and Tania, we have has and have. Okay. Has. Uh, uh, both. We have those. We have those. We have two. Okay. Has it would be just Carlita. Uh, Carlita with Tania. Okay, in this case, I said Carlita and Tania. So, Carlita has. has. Por qué has is a? Porque es en singular. A ver, contemos. Carlita and Tania. Ah. Have. Lula. Have. There we go. Okay. Have. 
Carlita y Tania, have, have what? Have drink soda. Or drink coke. Have drunk. Drunk. Ah, drunk. <laughs> ¿De dónde saqué el have drunk? Because drunk is the past participle. The past participle. Now, when do we use... Uh, pregunta, Jackie. ¿Tiene pregunta? No. Yes, I confuse. Mm -hmm. <laughs> es, uh, este es un como, como un pasado, porque me cabe la duda. Ah, ahí, si perfecto, es, perdón, 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 perdón. Mi error, no se lo expliqué. The present perfect no tiene nada de perfecto, porque tenemos que movernos a los past participle, y tampoco de, de presente, porque está en pasado. So, it means, for example... Olvidémonos de Carlita. Ok. Have you. Have you. Vamos a poner have you ever. Have you ever. Eden. No, voy a poner ejemplo en solo. I have never eaten suco. I have never eaten kusuko. Yo sé que hay gente que se lo come, nunca lo he probado. Vaya. Ok. So, vaya, el que se rió es porque sí lo ha probado, mínimo. You see? Ok. I have never eaten kusuko. ¿Por qué no puse I have never ate? Or I have never eat? You have to explain that. Because we use the past participle. Continuando con la pregunta. He comido. He bebido. It is a past. Ok. Estamos expresando como una acción que ha hecho y que la está expresando. No sé cómo decirlo. La está expresando como alguna vez. Por ejemplo. Ok. Uh, Lore. Have you. No. Where have you traveled? Así lo voy a quedar. Travel, it means we had. Where have you traveled? What countries? We'll put what countries. Oh, no. Where? What, have? what countries? What countries have you visited? What countries have you visited? Estamos hablando que en toda su historia, qué países ha visitado, qué países ha conocido, qué países ha viajado. Ok, yes. I, I, I have been. Um, I have what? I have what? I have visited. Ok. I have visited Spain, France, uh, China. Uh, my my country, Cuba, uh, Cuba. Cuba. Ah, Cuba. That's great. Cuba. Okay. Excellent. So she has visited. Con la experiencia, esperamos que todos llegar también a ese lapsus. A ese. Okay. Uh, I have visited, and she said, several countries. Yes. Okay. Ella ha visitado bastantes países. Pudo ser que cuando estaba pequeña visitó Francia. Cuando tenía 18 años visitó España y China, etc. No ha sido en este momento. No estamos hablando de un futuro. Es una trayectoria. I have visited. He visitado. He comido. He tomado. Okay. So there are different things. Have you? Como no es contenido de niños, sí, que son adultos. Have you? Vamos a ver a Linares. Linares. Okay. Yes. Linares, ¿quién no está? Sí. Okay. So, Michelle, right? Yes. Michelle, how old are you? ¿Cuántos años tienes? I'm 19. Excellent. Michelle, have you tried MJ? <laughs> no. 
Okay. MJ. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, let me see. Um, la Maria Juana, que le dicen. Okay. Carla Maria, have you tried? It's like cannabis. It is, yes. <clears throat> have you tried to smoke? MJ. She said yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. So it is a yes or no? Carla? Okay. Yes. So could you please give me the answer? Yes. Yes, I have. Yes, I have. Uh huh. Yes, I have tried to smoke. Okay. Or have you, have you smoked? Vamos a quitar try porque vamos a hacer have you smoked? Yes, I have smoked. Esta es una abreviación para que no se vea tan mal, ¿verdad? MJ, y que así quede. Ok, yes, I have smoked MJ. Ok. Lorena, probablemente no. I have never. <laughs> Lorena, tal y no. no. <laughs> Teacher, I have never smoked. Oh, ok, okay. you see? She has never smoked. She has. Porque she has. Tercera persona. Third person, yes. Excellent. Now, ¿se entiende? He bebido, comido, he hecho. Okay. It is talking about the past. Questions? Do you have any questions, guys? No, teacher. Okay. I trust you. Now we're going to continue. Escriban así como el número uno and then the answer. Number two y la respuesta. Okay. Vamos a hacer solamente 10. Porque estamos cuantos. 11 vamos a hacer. Ok. Por ejemplo, I y me sale. Analyze. Analicen el contexto, por favor. Y para que sepan las respuestas. Tan linda. La segunda no tiene paréntesis. Ah. Okay, one moment. Yeah, this is because I have repeated twice, los repetidos. Okay. Si no entienden una palabra, háganmelo saber, por favor. Teacher. Yes. La, la número cuatro es o es she. Silence. Okay. Like a silence, uh huh? Yes. That's why you say secret uh, or conversation, sorry.
Okay, how do you guys move? We're going to start for the first one. Okay, Lorena, could you please start for the for, for the first one? I saw a wonderful film in the cinema last night. I saw because it's in the past. Excellent. You guys, do you have any questions regarding to this? Tienen alguna pregunta? Why is this saw? Because it's talking about the past. It's un verbo irregular, memorize, that you just have to say in the past. Excellent. Carla, the second one. Mm, no, en esa sí, no, no. No problem. No okay. la hice, teacher, la número tres, sí. No problem, it's okay. Someone that could give me the number two, Lorena, ya pasó. Okay, someone that could give me the number okay. two, Michelle, Marcela, someone. Uh, was no. tiny. I'm sorry? Was tiny. Was tiny. For, for me, plan. is shines. Okay, shine Edison. Okay. Shine so for me with S is shine. Okay, now I'm just going to explain something. It says in esta ocasión, el past progressive, creo que no lo expliqué bien. It could be two action simultaneously. Simultaneamente. What it means this? I was cooking. No, my mother was cooking when my brother and I were well, yes, and what, yes, or when I was playing, we were playing. When my mother and I, my brother and I were playing, mientras nosotros estábamos. So there are two actions simultaneously. Este when, when esta clave. This was the key. Two actions simultaneously. Okay. So aquí está narrando usualmente the past progressive or the present progressive. También puede ser para narrar algo. Okay. I'm just, I was playing yesterday or I was playing with my students yesterday. Okay. When my ex-boyfriend, I know, when my sister was sleeping, cuando mi hermana estaba durmiendo. Okay, it's just an example. There are two simultaneously. Estoy narrando algo. So the sun was shining. Okay, the sun was shining. Estaba quedando. Okay. When the climber, the escalador, okay, reached the Mount Everest. Cuando alcanzó la, o, o escaló el Monte Everest. ¿Verdad? Two actions. ¿Qué pasó en ese momento? Estaba brillando, estaba lloviendo, estaba nevando. Okay. The sun was shining. ¿Me van a entender? Yes. Sure. ¿Todos? Okay. Interrumpa si es necesario. Okay, el was, porque el was, because it was the sun. El sun era el objective. Este fue nuestro sujeto, el sol. The sun was shining. Okay, now, um, Tania, ya la pasé, no sé. Number three. Eh, I don't tell that I won't tell. I won't tell, porque el I won't. Because it's the future. Yes, y porque aquí dice this secret, este secreto. Ahí fue nuestra clave. I will not, I won't, or I'm not going to tell. Okay? I'm not going to tell, I will not tell, or I won't tell. Future, this secret. ¿Me estás contando algo? I won't. No voy a decírselo a nadie. Okay, excellent. Lisette. Number four, please. Somebody is listening to our conversation. Excellent. Someone is listening to our conversation. Is listening, porque estamos ahorita hablando. Shh, cállate. Okay, yes. Someone is listening. Excellent. Está pasando en este momento, estamos hablando. Excellent, very good. Okay. The next one uh, will be Michelle, right? Michelle? No sé si ha pasado. Number five? I don't know, teacher. No. Okay, excellent. No problem. Okay. Marcela? Um, maybe 
as when I left the house this morning, uh, it was raining. It was already raining. Excellent. When? ¿Qué pasó? When? Puente. What happened? When? When? Uh, I'm telling a story. When I left the house this morning, and it's the past. Ah, it was. Ya estaba lloviendo. It was already raining. It was already. Ya estaba. Was already raining. Remember that is here past progressive was. Okay. Questions? Preguntas? No? No. Okay, perfect. Javier, the next one, please. Number six. No, teacher, no, no, no he llegado ahí. No la hizo. Okay. No. Okay. Rosa. They didn't, send. They, six. Um, yes. they didn't send any Christmas card last year. They didn't send. ¿Y por qué no es they didn't send? ¿Por qué no? Uh, because uh, the verb in... The auxiliary. Yes. So uh -huh. the verb has to be in the base form. Excellent. They didn't send. Excellent. Very good. Now, um, the next one, please. Jacqueline. Teacher. Yes. Okay. No, no, no. Continue, continue. Pregunte. Y, uh, no, it's the number seven. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. She's, she's going to a doctor once a year for ex, exam, examination. Okay, examination. She's going, but futuro. Examination. Right? What's the case? She's going mm -hmm. to go. She's going to go. Or she's going yes. to go. Now, pay attention to something. Okay. Once a year. Once a year. ¿Qué significa? Is the past. No. Una vez al año. Okay. ¿Qué implica eso? ¿Qué no. es un I año? would. For example, uh, an, an action future. No, 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 no. It is doctor, yes, once a year. Una vez an act, al año. It's so a it plan. Is... Will. Okay. No, no, no. One moment. One moment. Okay. Voy a borrarles esto solamente porque me lo dijo. Okay. Since it says once a year, it is talking about una vez al año. What it means this? An habit. Something that we do, right? I teach uh, to my students six uh six times a week okay i go to the doctor twice a month okay i go oh tanya goes to the to the university three times a week okay, okay. so okay she goes she is go to ghost okay go no because it's third person no ser ghost goes simple present i drink she drinks okay in este caso no existe el goes because it's an in a no cuando termina en o it is goes okay okay so she goes porque es una habito it's an habit okay one moment you see habit questions Ya nos pasamos del tiempo. But, okay, perfect. Uh, una más, ¿quién me la dice? Uh, they, they are, were talking about me when I interrupt. Sí. Usted me quiere decir, they are where. Yes. ¿Se puede decir estos dos? This is the verb be in the present y este es el verb be in the past. No, teacher. They walk. They walk. Okay. O es, o es was or were. Solo esta puede ser. Plus the verb in the ing. Were. Sorry. Were. Okay. They were talking about. Okay. No, I'm sorry. They were talking about me. Yes. 
Una última, ¿qué más? Two weeks from today, dos semanas. Ajá. Yes, Lorena, continue. I'm sorry. My friends are in Mexico two weeks from today. No. Are? Were? Well, well, no. 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 Are no. going to be? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, yes. From? Yes, from today, this day. Okay. okay. Questions? You can explain this. Yes. Okay. Okay, it could be yes, hablamos de esto word. It is because he's talking about the future. My parents are going to be in Mexico today, two weeks from today. Okay. Estarán. Okay. Two weeks from today. Dos semanas a partir de hoy. So that it means for the future. No puede ser pasado, because it says from today, desde hoy. Since it says from today, estamos hablando que el futuro. No puede ser, my parents went in Mexico, which doesn't make sense. My parents were, what? Where was in Mexico? No. My parents, yes, are going to be, okay, or will be. In Mexico, two weeks from today, porque estamos hablando del futuro. From today, a partir Picture. de hoy. Yes. Can you use my parents will in Mexico two weeks? Yes, my parents will be. My parents will, will be, okay. Be. My parents are going to be or my parents will be. Any questions? Teacher, I have a question that yes. is uh, about the platform. Mm -hmm. Ah, the platform. Okay, that will be... Uh, uh -huh, I'm sorry. Uh, well, actually, regarding to the platform, uh, this is, is... I don't know exactly well, what kind of question, but I have a little, a little. Yes? Sorry. Yes, Let continue. Yes. In the section four, four points, 30. Uh, hay una pregunta, hay, hay que hacer unas preguntas, entonces no me agarra de ninguna forma. Ya sí, lo vamos a ver eso en el chat y pueden compartirlo con los compañeros. Ahorita nos hemos excedido siete minutos. Ah, uh, ok, sorry. No problem. Okay. ¿Estamos ahorita todavía? Yes. Ok. Yes. 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 Antes de que nos vayamos, este, yo ya terminé la plataforma. Pero en la sección de progreso todavía me aparece en gris la parte del final exam y no me da paso, por decirlo así, a ver más. Terminó este... todos, 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 todos los ejercicios. Ajá, ese es el problema. Yo lo terminé todo. Ya revisé este, incluso la pestaña de progreso y ahí me dice incluso que ya puedo tener mi, mi certificado. Pero en el pasado, cuando yo hacía un curso acá, este, cuando yo terminaba la plataforma al 100%, todas las barras me salían en azul. Hoy me sale una en gris. To be honest, para serles sincera, creo que la plataforma ahí sí tengo el conocimiento completo de, de ah, la okay. plataforma. Ok. Thank you, Ok. okay. So, everyone. Goodbye, everyone. Take care, guys. No.